All right, guys, you need to know about this. Quinn's Vape is doing their one-year anniversary right now. They've been at it for a year, and I am not the only one out there with a desk completely covered in e-juice bottles. This is a common affliction. The problem is it's almost empty, and that's just sad. But because it's their one-year anniversary, you can go to quinsvape.com and... For three dollars, thirty sorry, thirty-three dollars and thirty-three cents, you can get three thirty milliliter bottles of your choice. And this is where it gets really cool. They have an all new flavor in the Chris Bowden Signature Series line. Jessica is our director of the web dev team, as far as I know. I think she is. And she has a particularly rancid vagina. It smells like low tide. And we came up with a flavor that reflects this. It smells like Hell's Dumpster, but it tastes divine. You can order bottles of Jessica's Rancid Twat at QuinnsVapeSupply.com. She's in the IRC. You can say hi to her. Her nickname is JKL or Jekyll. So we are, we are selling Jekyll's Rancid Twat. You can get single bottles for only $15.95, or you can get three bottles. Yes, right now, you can get three bottles for $33.33. It's live right now. You can get this at quinsvape.com and tell them I sent you. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. Now let's get on to the blog. <laughs> You got a box. Yeah. What's your box? Oh, let's open it. Okay. Hello, there, guys. Welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 12.35 hours on Monday, 10-20-2014. The moose has a box. It's from Laird. It's from Laird? Like Laird Plastics, the sponsor of the Geek Group Laird? Yes. Okay. Usually we go and get things on a truck. Start there, Moose. It did. Over there. That's, that's where it starts. Do you know what it is yet? I'm guessing it's the big new vinyl cutter the IRC sorted out? Yes. Cool. Good job, IRC. That we were able to get a sweet, sweet deal on because Laird is awesome. All right, Batman. That's a lot of vinyl cutter. Not lighter than I was expecting. Yeah, just bulky. Does it have a stand or? Um, or does it down. sit on a table? <laughs> oh, that's the stand? Okay. I didn't know if there was a stand in the box or? Uh, I think there is. I, it, it looks like another level. I was expecting a stand. There's a stand. Yay! A Rector set project. I'm going to put that together. I love putting together stands. That's cool. That's a hell of a lot of vinyl cutter. And now we can label the fire truck. Yes. Fire truck! We're also getting this set up so you're, that... You're not, you're not that excited. <laughs> what? We're also getting it set up so that if members want to vinyl cut something, yes. you'll be able to do that. This is cool. So we have a large format printer, large format vinyl cutter, the, the print shop of the Geek Group grows. And I've got the sublimation printer. Yeah, and it's working? It's doing stuff? It Here with its little IV system? Yes. Okay. Have you printed stuff with it yet? Um, we're doing the first test print today. Okay. Can I get video when you do? I will let you know. All right. Well, cool. So you put the stand together and we'll be back. Yeah. All right.
for you. Groovy. You're sanding. I'm sanding this table because it's gross and it smells bad. Yes. And I get gross. a lot of that. Hope it didn't need that screw. Fine. Yeah, I'm gonna get a different one. Throw that one away. Happily. Cut the end off of it and throw it away. Okay. okay. Because damn. What you doing, Moose? I'm losing screws in this table top. You time. lost. Oh. Well, that's poo. Okay, I believe in you. Bellatini is changing the sign. Fire truck. We change a sign every week. Sometimes more often than that. I try to be clever. I don't always come up with the sign, but usually it's me. That's a cool one. I didn't write that. Do you know who did? Who wrote that? Comment. Hi. This dog is environmental. Oh god, you can't shoot that. Huh? This dog is environmental, I you know. Are you in torment? Are you, are you in torment? Is your life hell? No. Hi. I'm right here and I'm not playing with it. <laughs> I know! <laughs> Hi! Oh god, there's another dog! Oh, that dog's way fluffier than you are. Look at this. Look, <laughs> look at this dog. Hi, fluffy dog. Hi, fluffy dog. Do you need love? Do you need attention? I'm trying to pet you and you want to chew on my hand. What? Hi, poofy butt. Show them how high you can jump. That was kind of cool. Hey. Hi. Dog! <laughs> what? Let's go this way. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Ruff, 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 ruff. Oh, I'm going all the way down here. I'm all the way to the end. Oh my god, back you in. Yay! Ruff. Don't bark at the dog. She's got a shock collar, and if you bark at the dog, she gets zapped, and that's just a dick thing to do. <laughs> Batman's playing with Elisa's box. Yeah, well, hey. I'm marketing Jekyll's Rancid Twat today. You've been doing that for Oh, it's good. It's, it's officially released, like, yesterday. Oh. So it's a whole thing now. It's like it's on the website and shit. Oh my god, they're moving stuff. Cool. That. That? That. That blows the windows out of cars. Yeah, but I'm just looking at the carpet job and I'm judging you a little. It's 10 years old. I'm judging you. How old's that one? This? Yeah. I don't know. I paid a guy for it and found it in the trash. Really? How much? 30 bucks. That's a damn fine deal. Yeah, look it up. That sub's like $600. <laughs> and it works great. This one sub is louder than the 212s in my van. Well, kick ass. It's a weird little thing. It's clean, though. That's a really good sub, too, though, actually. This? Oh, yeah. So you were going to. Eating them. That one's got You got to turn them off. That's Come again? 
Sorry. What you got? I have the vinyl cutters. Put you have together. vinyl cutter. So what's what's all this stuff? I have no idea. Okay, but you're gonna learn. You're learning stuff because you're smart. Look at that. See, it's got rollers and stuff. Yeah. I like these. You can you can set it up with like a, a cloth to put. Are these hangy rollers or top rollers? What? Well, sometimes you put. You have hangy rollers where you lift the roller out and you set the thing through and it hangs on the own. Sometimes you have top rollers where it sits on top, like that. This and has it rolls. a thing that we can get to it sits on top. to the other side to do both. Okay. But this model didn't come with it, but for like 30 bucks we can get a thing. Do it. With the amount that this is going to get used, do it. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. We can, we can even plot. We can plot? We have a plotter? <laughs> Isn't that adorable? These are neat as hell to watch work, especially with like blueprints and shit. I just, yeah. yeah. They're neat. I'm kind of a printing nerd, so, you know, I get into that stuff. Cool, this is really sexy, Moose. I like it. That's neat. It doesn't like to roll with the shit. Or the oh. wheels lock. Oh, the wheels are locked, that's why. The wheels are locked on purpose. Okay. That's neat. That is the new vinyl cutter, courtesy of the IRC. By the way, Mackie's life is... Well, you know how she's got the electric chalk collar that, you know, when she barks? Yeah. Well, I just got video of her and Pepper running backwards, or back and forth across the yard. And every time the dog gets ahead, uh -huh. Pepper gets really close to her and barks. Uh -huh. And so he goes like, woof, and the dog goes, shit! And just, yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. Pepper's a dick. I know. Pepper's a dick to dogs! <laughs> you, you haven't seen this yet? No. This is, this is awesome. Figured I should share this with you guys. That was in uh, direct response to the tour on Saturday. I had uh, an inordinate number of people who were comparing us to GR makers and Every time they'd say something, I was like, well, no, we actually do this and 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 this. And they were like, oh, and it was, it was kind of fun. Oh, were you telling them about my experience? Yeah, your experience and my experience and the whole thing, so, yeah. That woman got very upset with me. She was very, very unhappy with you for picking on GR Makers. I didn't pick on anybody. That's how she felt. I did. But I just think it's reason. not polite to go into a place I mean, and it's tell people that their competition is better. Well, I don't mind that. I'm all for people, you know, going into Jerry Maker and saying, Geek Group is way better in this place, or whatever. But, or, and I love the people that come in here and say, Jerry Maker is way better than this place, because they do that, and then we show them around and be like, really? Oh, well, she didn't agree. I'm okay with that. I showed her they, don't, they don't have to agree. I'm okay, I'm okay with people thinking they're better, or people think I want people to make their own decision, well, arrive if, at their own conclusions, ask their own questions, and demand their own evidence. That's, well, if you do all of that, and then you decide that you're in a place that is inferior... You should go to the other place. <laughs> you should totally do that. And I want, pe I, I want people to examine both of them in detail and make their own decisions. This, this woman wanted to stay here while thinking... Because GR Makers is a better maker space for some people. It a very small amount, and most of those people have like, you know, one eye and a, a, a hunch. No, that's not true. So, what? Ryan likes it here. <laughs> You're a dick. You're such a dick. Oh my god. <laughs> he doesn't have the hunch, but he's got the one eye. You're, you're the one who's being a dick. Ryan is going to beat the shit out of him. He doesn't have very good posture. I hate today's vlog. Oh, it's, oh the comments are going to be awesome, and it's all Batman's fault. Oh my god. So what are you doing? Taking a break of dough. Yeah. I'm washing the dust down my mouth. Yeah. I have a perfect thing for you to do while you're taking a break. You can help Rose bring out the silver cart from Studio C. It's not a break. Yeah, it is. It's on wheels. Yeah, not that hard. We can just take and the, and the big heavy top's already unscrewed. It's yeah. just sitting on top. And not coming out here. Silver yeah. cart in Studio C. You know the silver ones we had out here with the wheels? Studio B. B! Studio B! I'm sorry, Studio B. Okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking about now. Exact same footprint as this. Okay. But the tops are huge. 
Okay. So we're going to take a silver bottom and a wood top. You're an idiot. No, it, wheelies are nice because then when we need to use the big printer, we can unplug the one power cord. Okay, and wheel it out. hang on. But if you like the bigger top and you like the wheels, why not just bring the whole damn cart like up and top. use the cart she as, like oh, you want to put the little cart on the big wheels? On the wheelie part. Yes. So we're going to put the big top on this and set this somewhere. Somewhere. Maybe. Um, Probably in Studio B for now. Thanks. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Same right. footprint. Mr. Bellatini. No. You, uh, you have quite the hat there. Oh, tail. You, have, you have tail. Oh, and there's feet. If that isn't your like member profile pic within 24 hours, I will be very disappointed because oh my god. So what dinosaur is it? I don't remember. We have to figure this out because you may get to do an episode on it. Or you could wear that while doing an episode. That that would be totally acceptable. And then just not reference it at all. Yes, just just Happens totally to just I'm very okay with that. <laughs> Said Stephen, fully aware that we can't release an episode we shoot before Halloween on Halloween. Why not? We could totally release an episode on Halloween. The turnaround is not that fast. You couldn't do a quick and easy one? No such thing. No? Because animation takes time. Well, that and yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I am judging you so hard. You just... Yeah. He's cute. He's cute. <laughs> These are the people that I work with. And it is awesome. <laughs> hey, not for nothing, yeah. but your candy sucks. It doesn't taste very good, does it? Oh my god. It's rock hard, too. <laughs> I sucked on that damn thing for like six hours. The literal jawbreaker. I got nothing. So these are these are neat. I think we should call these nipples. Okay. Those are everlasting job stoppers. Nipples are rock hard. I'm taking a pair of your nipples. <laughs> I got Casey's nipples. Huh? I'm gonna come in here more. And well, more good. We like having you around. For the, this is the last time I'm gonna be in here. It, it's kind of addictive. <laughs> All right. So tell people who you are. Uh, I'm Brent Salek. You're gonna edit this later. Yes. Okay. Oh dear God, yes. I'm because Brent. I would of course edit this. I would never post unedited video to the blog. All right. So tell people who you are. Okay. I'm Brent Salek, and I'm a industrial designer. I'm designing a little prong shields. Basically, concept Ooh, it's is. Squishy. Ooh. This is more squishy. This is like a software drawing. This is this is you're de you're developing though. Yeah. You're not there yet. Uh, this is more for prototyping. Okay. The idea is you can stick your prong in here. So this goes on the end of a plug. Yeah. Like the end of an extension cord or something to protect it. Yeah. It keeps Here's you one. from getting. Hey, you've got. Oh, that's a crappy old plug oh. at that. So pull it right out of there. Will oh. it work? Here, we'll no, come right no, down it's here. Not the greatest. It's not the best, but it'll give you the idea. See, yeah. it goes on there, and, just and then you it. can, because there's this, you can yeah. fold it over. You can fold it over, and clip it, or when you're not using it, you can use that to coil up the cord. You could just put it on oh, right cool. on the cord. Okay. Obviously, it'd be thicker. Yeah, it's designed for a real cord, but but this is your idea. It's the prong shield. Yeah. And tooling something like this up would have cost like twenty four hundred dollars. Too expensive. Oh yeah. To Did you get out of metal? Yeah. To do <laughs> you add a zero. Yeah. <laughs> I got it quoted for like twenty four for a one cavity mold around okay. that size. That's a really and good price for what it is. Yeah. It's so small though. That's that's probably. What yeah, it's only a one cavity. Okay. Yeah. Because when you want to do these for real, you're going to be doing them like fifty uh, at a time. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So a two cavity one costs like twenty four. So it's basically it doubles. Uh, yeah. It doubles every time. Okay. No, it goes up by... So, yeah. 48, 48 was the two cavity, 2400 was the one cavity, okay. and aluminum. Okay. And that didn't really uh, make sense to me, mostly because... Well, it takes right a now, lot of work to do that. And yeah, for this particular design. shape, 
a lot of that, the only way really to do it would be like a RAM EDM. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, this is the sixth version I've yeah? put down here in print. <laughs> so I've got, so you're, of... you're kind of like the phantom of the geek group because you just drift in and, and like the only time people know you were here is in a rare event when somebody sees you, which is pretty rare. Yes. But usually it just shows up on the thing and it's like, oh, dude bought six units of time on the three print. Oh, he was back. Okay. Who is that guy? I don't know. I never met him. I don't talk to him. And I get that. I was like, who is this guy? No idea who the hell this guy is, but he, he's, he's buying dime, he's building something. Mm -hmm. We don't know what, but he's building something. I'm happy he's here. And I just, I walk by, I was like, you're that guy. Mm -hmm. And like, you've been seen more, like you were on a fire truck right? you to ride Yeah, a fire truck. that was, that See? was a life experience. That I was, just you were, that right off the You box. weren't even ready for that. You're here, <laughs> you're 3D printing, you're doing stuff, and you walk by, I was like, get a fire truck! He's like, fuck yeah, fire truck, cool! And Right yeah. now, the, the membership was extremely valuable for me because I'm, wanted to prototype this. I knew I wouldn't get it right the first time. I knew 3D printing it was probably the best route to go. You guys have the equipment. And and you're making use of them, which yes. is really cool. All of them at the same time. Yes, <laughs> I, I think this is cool. Like you'll come in and just be like, nobody's using the machines. <laughs> and, I, and, and you'll just see like, hey, all the machines got used today. Wow, I didn't know we had that many people here. No, just one guy. <laughs> well, like with a company, like your biggest competitor, it would be like Shapeways. Obviously, you're not a 3D printing company. No, not even close. You provide the service. Yeah, but but it's a tangible like you got to yeah. walk in the door and do it. People can't mail stuff in. Yeah, and there was a little bit of learning curve, but I mean, it was point. it was like a 30 minute like quick tutorial from your staff. Yeah, and then I knew how to calibrate it. I knew how to yeah. do it. I know how to do the resolution. It wasn't that bad. And at all. and you're making good usable molds like this. Yeah. This was this mold was made here, mm -hmm. and this part was cast in this mold. Yeah. So yeah, you're, you have tangible out. results, like you've, you've done the whole thing, concept to creation, man, that's the whole point. Yeah, I just have to get that. That's really cool. I like that your mold just snaps apart. That's clever. Yeah, that's another thing. That's <laughs> really clever. That'd be clever. really easy to do because yeah. if it does work out and the 40D is, you know, strong enough and protective enough for the durometer, then what I'm going to end up doing is you know, doing a short run. I might come back in here and do a 9 cavity. In fact, I just <laughs> opened up. You know, you, there's a way to do this even better, right? How would if you? you start doing this for reals, once you're done 3D printing it, you can machine your molds here out of aluminum yourself. We have the equipment for that. Do you have the... Have you seen the equipment we have? Do you, but do you have the injection molded um, machine? Like that, the injection molding yeah. machine? No, we can't do injection molding, but you can cast these here. Yes. The same way I you could, cast them in the mix, yeah. just in a better mold with a smoother with side consistency. Yeah. Because that's the trick. But you can sand this. You can you can you know sand it. You can fill it. You can do a lot with this to get this to the consistency. It's just yeah. it'd be kind of a bitch with this particular part. Well, this also I cheaped out last time I did it. You can see the resolution on this one. Yeah, that's it's really, really low. Bad. And you can see it showed up here. Yeah. So that's why I'm really. But if you jack the resolution up, yeah. do it for real. This resolution was a lot better. It has a much smoother surface to it. You can see. And not for here. nothing, but at that resolution you might be able to just print your molds entirely out and do your initial production runs off 3D printed molds because that just gives it a grippy texture and this is a part you're going to want to pull off, have a good solid grip on it anyway. It I, might be a feature. I did 3D print um, the initial design I was thinking about doing. Okay. But um, the biggest thing is it has to be sort of rubbery. You know what I mean? Yeah. I went through Shapeways and they have like some kind of rubber substrate thing that they print okay but it didn't really work out either well i can so silicone seemed to be the next well you know, here's cost here's, effective here's the next thing instead of machining these out of aluminum you can make your molds out of silicone because you can cast once you've got this where you want it mm -hmm. you can use a little clay and fill it in perfectly smooth get it exactly what it, you want it and yeah, yep and, and i can show you how to make the molds to be able to cast these so that you can cast these in them. In an array. Yeah, yeah, that's easy. I was thinking about that's, that. That's a little like stuff. That's really, that's nothing to it. And that is, I have a lot of experience in casting silicone. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm going to say. Would you say, <laughs> would you say, like, the only thing I, I, I was thinking the exact same thing, that it might be better to do it that way, but I'm looking at, like, this part right here, these prong indents, and, like, in silicone with the, you know, with the resolution you know, if, we could create, if I created a silicone hard rubber one. I think you could. I think it'd be okay. Even these right here? Yeah, I think it'd be okay. Because what, so remember, what, what you're casting about. around it is going to be a soft, it's pancake batter. Yeah. So those aren't going to flex or anything. They'll be okay. Well, I'm open to trying Something anything. else you should know. Come here. 
this is just to make your day better. If you go back here, behind the secret door, here's where all the light switches are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good to know. So just brighten your day a little there. Because you said back here in the dark. We keep the lights out in here, if, you know, because I'm... At some point, I turned into my dad and mm -hmm. just started walking turn around, turning off all the damn lights. Same and the same. Same. So, yeah. That's good to know, actually. Now, now it's a pleasure meeting you, sir. You have fun. If you yep. need anything, just ask. Yep. All right. Come check this out. Come check what out? What did you do? Look. What? That is a projector. Yes. That is a slide projector. Yes. Wow. And if you want, the next time we stop by, we could also bring some uh, long-range smoke detectors. Oh, that sounds like fun. Uh, basically, so there's an infrared projector and an infrared receiver, and it senses if there's smoke okay. appearing with it. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. Okay. We yeah, like lasers. You're welcome. That's cool. We like lasers. We like infrared. That's nifty. That can go in archives. <sighs> something in my eye. This is looking pretty amazing. Not really. You got all that done. No, you... Take a close look at the stairs themselves. What's the problem? The uh, little forms of things are all rusted out. Yeah, it happens. We'll have to replace some and fix some and stuff. It'll be a bit of a job, but we'll get there. This is the hard part. Good job, sir. <laughs> so much dust. Ah! The only way to stop it over here. Okay. Yay! You made a thing? I made a heart. Pretty purple heart. <laughs> it's purple for mom. Don't eat the heart, you tard. Mm. That ends in blood. There. You have a heart sticker. Yay. Okay. So it works. Can we, can we finalize the design for the lettering for the fire truck now? Well, we can do that, but I was working on cutting the entryway sign. Oh, okay, cool. Which I want you to yeah, send me a copy, I'll proof it. Well, it's ready if you want to just... Oh, look at the thing? Okay. I gotta proof stuff. I love the sounds this thing makes.
Alright, so your thing just came off the printer. Yes, hold it for a moment. I'm holding it. There's a lot of little tiny cuts on here. And it's kind of cool that we have a giant 35 inch vinyl cutter that'll do giant stuff. And this was like half what it'll do. Yeah, about that. Give or take. That is a major new thing available for member use. I dig it. So what what you doing now? Weeding. Weeding? Mm-hmm. Okay. What what's weeding? It's removing all of the vinyl you don't want to put on your thing. So like the whole background. Yes. I will get to the background. First you start with the little pieces. Yes. That's gonna take a while. Yes. Okay. She get Rose. Yeah. Hey Rose! Bring want, a push pin! You wanna do a little weed? Come here! Bring a needle. Push pins work the best. Bring a bring a push pin. We're gonna do a little weed. There's all kinds of tools you can buy for this, and I've tried them. Weeding tools? Yes. None of them are as awesome as a push pin. That didn't quite work. Hey Moose? Yeah. You needed that. Uh, I can just cut that shape okay. and put it in. Start with the inside of letters. It's my first try. I did not do so bad. I've never done this part. Rose and I. I'm, I'm pretty badass at the putting part. it onto things step. But I've never, I've never gotten to do the cutting or the weeding steps, so this is like all new territory to me. I think it's kind of cool. With Rose and I, we know. We know. We know, we know this. We know. I should have opened this before. You didn't plan to fail. You just failed to plan. Um, better now. Okay. Because every time somebody orders one of those super awesome deep root car stickers, yeah. Rose and I, we weeded it. Yep. With love, oh, by absolutely. hand. Absolutely, loving one. One at a time. So, one at a time, Much yes. Love. If I could automate this process, you know my opinion on automation. So what do you think of the new vinyl cutter? I'm super happy. What do you think? I think we get to letter the fire truck. We do. Pretty happy about that. And like, it'll take all the projects up a notch because now everything can be properly lettered with signage and stuff on it, which really, it, it adds a level of snap to finished projects. And being able to do it pretty much any size we want is great. Huh? Hi, well, so what are you making them do? We're weeding. They're weeding? They're weeding. It's a thing. It's a thing, they're weeding letters. Mm -hmm. See, when you, when you print something, like, you know the vinyl letters you see on doors and stickers mm -hmm. and stuff? Well, it cuts with a razor blade, mm -hmm. a computer-controlled razor blade on a big sheet. Right. And you have to take out, like, the centers of letters and the stuff around, and you have to leave just what you want. I see. Because uh, the printer, well, just, that's just how it works. It. Yeah. Just an interesting term, weeding. We're weeding out the spots we don't want. I didn't make up the, the printing term. industry is filled with awesome nomenclature. 
<laughs> Hickeys do not mean what you think they mean. What it's a printing that? term. A hickey? Uh -huh. uh, if you're running like a big offset press and you get a paper is pulp based. So when you have a lot of paper, you uh -huh. always have little bits of schmutz in yeah. your paper. So these will get stuck inside the press, uh -huh. usually in a place where you really don't want them to get stuck. Right. So you'll be printing out sheets and sheets and sheets of stuff, and if you have a little bit of schmutz on your impression cylinder, your blanket cylinder, or wherever, you'll get, it's a very distinctive looking little bullseye shaped thing, and it'll be in a random spot. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have to find where the hell in the press that is. You know, like, like when it prints out, and if the hickey's here, you know it's somewhere, as you look at the back of the press, it's up that line. So you just start looking at all the rollers, but it'll print out what's called a hickey. <laughs> and now you, know. now you know. But there's a million terms, like star target and all kinds of cool shit like that. But yeah, right. I'm kind of a printing nerd, so this okay. this is neat. And Moose, yes. When you pull out all the letter insides, yes. And then get a close up picture like this. Uh huh. And try and get it where you can't make out the actual tracing of the letters. Just. You know, oh, just the, the. Just just the holes and post that on the internet. That'll be a cool picture. Well, we got all of it out, so now we're gonna start doing the. Okay. <sighs> Minkus! Captain! So I got a thing you can you can do. If you find yourself just aimlessly wandering and needing something of RAR to do, I have a lot all the carpet in that space is shit. It can come out. It needs to look just like this. We gotta get all the carpet out, cleaned out, because we're gonna grind the concrete for everything. Are we also, or uh, we might just be polishing. I gotta talk to the guy and see, but we might just be polishing. Um, he he told me to give it a shot. I'm gonna give it a shot, and if we like how it looks, that's what we're gonna do. Um, and then stickers for all the steps. As you say, if you wanna know what it looks like, just drive down 131. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's some polish <laughs> But we're gonna do all of that, and we're gonna do all of this. Rubber polish. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna take out all the carpet for the front area and make it beautiful. Make it easier. To clean. Make it out a lot easier for you to clean. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? We're we're trying to figure out why my brakes are grinding. Oh. Okay. I want to get a shot of this because it's looking cool. This is how Casey does the laundry. Don't laugh. Do you wear stonewashed jeans? Guess how they got to look like that. So cool. I want to do the dishes in one of these. How daring am I with my camera? There's parts in there. You'll see them. At those, you'll see them go by every now and then. But there's there's parts in there. Sometimes they can be pretty tiny. That's why I'm trying to figure out how you find them. After you oh, you them. you dump it out. You just pick them out. Oh, uh, we'll be here for probably another couple hours. Oh, oh, oh.